Black Friday is known for its door-busting deals, the bargain-hunting shoppers. While it's tempting to take advantage of those deep discounts, well, you might not want to let the hype of the holidays interfere with your finances. Local financial advisor Tom Newman from Drake & Associates is here with tips to help us all. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. So you say we got to make a plan before we even think about going on Black Friday? We do because it, uh, on average, consumers are going to be spending about $1,200 this Seriously? holiday season. $1,200? Yeah. Between gifts and trips, so uh, most of that expense is going to happen during the Thanksgiving holiday uh, weekend with, uh, you know, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, so it's very tempting with all these deals around mm -hmm. that you're going to overspend, so come in with a plan. So what do you mean, like just know what I'm looking for these things specifically and find out how much it costs? That and creating a budget. Okay. So having a budget in place is probably by and far the biggest thing that you can do, so come in knowing what you can realistically expend, who you're going to spend that on, mm -hmm. and then um, when possible, bring cash. Oh. Uh, I know, I know that's right. you know, not Old school. <laughs> that's not what we normally do nowadays. But if you are going to be using a credit card, you can do it, but just do it in a way that you know you're going to be able to pay it off on a monthly basis. Right. But use cash when when you can. That keeps you in check. So it there does. you see some of your tips. Make a plan, like you talk about, ration mm -hmm. that cash. Ask questions. What kind of questions? So. We're going to be inundated with, you know, advertisement and promotions. Don't be afraid to pull an employee aside of mm -hmm. the store that you're at and really ask about the product. Ask about the deal so that you know what you're getting into. Also, understand the return policy mm -hmm. in case there's something down the road that looks a little bit better. Because there's all these, they, you know, they say they're these huge deals and maybe people are more prone to impulse mm -hmm. purchase thinking, oh my gosh, I got such a great bargain here. That's correct. And, and I work with individuals not only on a retirement basis but on a budgeting basis as well and so when I can put in a plan that is economical and feasible my clients sleep better at night so sure. the budgeting aspect is is really key you see we say we need to double check those deals make mm -hmm. sure they're legit and yes. then afterwards yeah so pull out those receipts see how much you actually spent uh, and, and match it to your budget and if you're anybody like me I would celebrate after that and the reason that I would celebrate Great is because if you stick to these tips mm -hmm. and you stick to your budget, you're going to have more cash and now you can treat yourself to a gift. And that gift should be long-term planning. Uh, so think about taking that excess cash, making a contribution to an IRA or a Roth IRA. Mm -hmm. If you want more information about our website uh, and retirement planning or budgeting, you can go to wealthwisconsin.com. All right, let's show that again, wealthwisconsin.com. You can get more information there. We appreciate you getting us ready. I can't believe it's almost Black Friday. It's going to be right go. here. Yep. Tom Newman, thanks Th for being here. Thank you.